Hello everyone and welcome to uh, this video in the SPSS series. <clears throat> this video we'll be looking at how do we do a repeated measure ANOVA test using SPSS 26. For this we're gonna go and open SPSS I already have the data entered in SPSS. It's similar to the data I used for the repeated measure in Excel uh, in my other videos. So we have here the different golfers. We have 10 of them using different brands and we have the rating based on these brands. So in order to do the repeated measure, we're going to go to analyze and as we did with the two-factor ANOVA we don't do to compare means and choose the one-way ANOVA over here we're going to go to the general linear model and we're going to choose the repeated measures ANOVA the first thing we're going to define is the within subject factor name so here I'm going to just call them treatment because they are treatment and we have four of them brand A, B and C. Click add and you see that we have here four treatment. Here I'm just going to call it rate the treatment or the measure name. I'm going to click add and now we have to define these brands and treatments. So I'm going to click on define and I'm going to drag or you can choose these four drag them here or click on this one over here so you see now we have brand A brand B, brand C and brand D if we click on options I can add the descriptive statistics that I need to find and you can add whatever you want from here depending on your problem same idea you can click on post hoc if you have any post hoc test that you want to do it's similar to the other method that we used and just going to click here on paste to get this small result and then we're going to go back here and we're going to click on define one more time make sure the descriptive is still selected and we're just going to click on OK now you can see that SPSS will give me the mean for each brand with the standard deviation it will do the multivariate test the Moshley test and this is what we are interested in the test of the within subject and you can see that it gives me of course the sum of squares and the error treatment and the degree of freedom and the mean squares for each one and of course it gives me what we are interested in which is the F test statistics which is 54.312 that I can use to compare it to the critical value and come up with whatever decision I want I just want to show you using Excel that we did earlier in my other video and you can see that in Excel it's the same value the F test 54.3117 here it's 54.312 which means if we just round it would be 54.312 so using Excel or SPSS you will get the same result this is all what you need to look at of course you have the test of within subject constraints and so on thank you for watching quick video of how to do repeated measure Again, it depends on the problem and your choices, but this is the 
simple method of doing it.